I will find you and see that you are arrested, indicted, convicted, and sentenced. Hey loves, welcome back to today's brand new recap video on my channel. And guys, if I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I wasn't sure if I should talk about this in today's video. But Peaches is back from jail and she's more problematic than ever, y'all. Seriously? What the hell are we gonna do right now? Other than Peaches, you guys, your girl will also be spilling the tea on Dixie D'Amelio and Griffin Johnson and how Zoe Laverne got a new boyfriend. And no, thank God he isn't 13 years old. Anyways, let's dive right into today's video ASAP. So the rumors were right. None other than Zoe Laverne got a new boyfriend for herself. Oh, she must be heartbroken now that she left Connor. Does that sound like something you want? Yes. But let me tell you, you'll never get it. If you guys aren't up to date on the Zoe Laverne situation, well, last week I explained how both Zoe and Connor were getting hate on social media and how they both defended each other by saying that Zoe isn't a groomer. Don't be shocked, they're both delusional. But for the last couple of days, you guys, Karma has been going after many problematic TikTokers one by one. She finally got Zoe this time since a few days ago, Zoe made an announcement on her Snapchat story that she has COVID. What goes around comes around. Zoe. I'm a firm believer in karma. Now, as y'all can imagine, a lot of people were happy that karma taught Zoe a lesson. But things got very weird when the minute after Zoe announced she has COVID, she immediately clarified that her friend Dawson also has COVID. What? Dawson has Rona too, BTW. Girl! Why are you telling us his business, love? Anyways, so clearly Zoe was trying to put the spotlight on her friend so she doesn't get dragged alone for having the virus. But unfortunately, a few days after she made the announcement, it turned out that she didn't have COVID in the first place since she got tested negative. I got tested negative for COVID this morning. <laughs> At least she tested positive for being a groomer. Now, here's the juicy part of the situation. Not an hour after she tested negative for COVID, a lot of rumors started going around that she was allegedly dating her friend. Yep, I mean Dawson, the friend Zoe exposed for having COVID. And um, as much as I'm sad to say this, but it appears that the rumors are actually true. In fact, a couple of pictures of Zoe and her boyfriend Dawson got leaked all over social media. The entire TikTok community made fun of Zoe after she finally moved on from the 13-year-old Connor to this guy called Dawson, I guess. Let's hope he's not a child. Why he look like the older version of Connor? Wait till she finds out he's not 13. How old is he? Does he know she's probably more interested in his little brother? Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Zoe being in a relationship with Dawson? Do you think she deserves all the hate she's receiving for it? Let me know in the comments down below. Hold on! Did I just witness Dixie D'Amelio and Griffin Johnson solving their issues peacefully without causing any troubles? This must be a dream this time. Anyways, to be completely honest, Griffin Johnson has proven to us that being problematic isn't on his agenda. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time I mentioned Griffin in my videos, he made a promise to us that he wouldn't get in any drama because it isn't really his thing. The past couple months, uh, really tough on me mentally. And I didn't really show that on social media because first off, I didn't want people worrying about me. But yeah, I want to be able to relate more. I don't know how other creators feel, but I feel just like a normal dude. So yeah, I went through a bunch of shit the past couple months. I know I just said that, but just to reiterate. And Loki, I think he really meant it this time because it's been weeks since we saw him in any TikTok drama that doesn't involve him. And you f***ing made it, girl. You made it. And here's where the situation got more interesting, you guys. Since a lot of people in the TikTok community started annoying Griffin by asking him questions about his ex, Dixie D'Amelio, just to get him mad. I know this could probably leave y'all speechless, but Griffin actually handled the situation very maturely, saying that he even supported Dixie's new song by replying with this. Did you hear Dixie's new song, One Whole Day? I did, and it's awesome. Super glad she can do what she loves. Shortly after, Griffin made it very clear that there's no no bad blood between him and Dixie, he suddenly went on Instagram and refollowed her, you guys. And guess what, y'all? Dixie D'Amelio also refollowed him as well. I'm sorry. Did someone just hack their accounts? What? 
What's going on? All of this happened in literally under an hour, and a lot of people started assuming that Dixie and Griffin must have solved their issues off camera before they re-followed each other. Surprisingly, many people gave props to Griffin Johnson this time for being very mature and taking his time to resolve his issues with Dixie after months of shading each other. Griffin doesn't deserve the hate that he gets, but y'all aren't ready for that convo. That's actually really mature of Griffin after what happened. The drama happened months ago. I'm proud of them for letting it go. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Griffin and Dixie re-following each other on social media? Do you think they're on good terms now? Let me know in the comments. Excuse me, but who the f let Peaches out of jail after being a threat to the world and the entire TikTok community? Oh wait, that must have been Zoe Laverne and Tony Lopez. So apparently you guys, the one and only Peaches is back from jail and she's more problematic than she already was. If you guys haven't heard about Peaches, well, I can tell you that you're missing out on a lot. This woman is basically a danger to society. I mean, have y'all seen how she acts in public? Or how she twerks in front of kids at restaurants? Y'all are going to jail, period! All of these videos that you guys saw were just the intro into Peach's life. Since this woman is also known for flashing her kitty in front of underage TikTokers, such as Mal Trevejo and Sky Jackson. <laughs> what are you saying? I just said. Oh, oh my God! No! <laughs> If this wasn't the most disgusting thing ever, well, you probably haven't witnessed the days Peaches spent threatening Charlie D'Amelio. She literally hired an old man to stalk her outside her house and hurt her. But thank God, the plan didn't work. No. When all this mess happened this summer, a lot of people thought it couldn't get any worse after she apologized for her mistakes. But of course, the internet was shocked when Peaches regained custody of her daughter, Cora. And that's what made her go to a mental hospital in the first place because it was very obvious that Peaches was a bad influence on Cora and it was very dangerous for her daughter to stay around her. Now, here's when it all went down, you guys. A couple of months after Peaches lost the rights of her daughter, she came back from the mental hospital all of a sudden when her Instagram account got reactivated out of nowhere. Her account didn't last long after a lot of people found it, so instead, Peaches went on TikTok and started posting a lot of videos. Just take a look at her recent videos. <laughs> Yeah, she literally hasn't changed at all. In fact, I think the mental hospital made her go more insane, in my opinion, since she also posted a video of her licking someone's feet. What? The actual hell? All of the videos of Peaches made a lot of people angry to the point where they started attacking her again for being disrespectful and acting inappropriately in public. Y'all, I thought she could just be pretending to be slow for clout, but she actually really is like this, OMFG. Hopefully one day you get arrested for public indecency and have to register as a sex offender. Why the f is she not in a mental institution? Why are you actually harassing people? Are you not going to learn anything from your time in prison? Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Peaches being back? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap down in the comments below. I love you so much.